Hello. Today we're going to do an orientation of the capture screen in Snagit. We'll be covering the capture button and the four capture modes. We'll be covering the profiles, quick launch, and related tasks. Let me start with the capture button. That is the big red button in this lower corner here. When I engage the capture mode button, we get options for four different ways to capture images and screenshots. The first capture image is your basic image capture and you will be capturing any image you want, any screenshot you want, either on the web or on your computer. Next is the text capture and this is quite special because you can capture an image on your computer or on the web of text and it actually turns it into text that you can edit and um, rearrange. Thirdly is the video capture which actually takes videos of your screen and screen processes that you're um, wanting to explain like social media in our video capture tutorial. And lastly is web capture and this allows you to take pictures, collect all the pictures on a website in order to to collate them and compose them later. When you engage one of these choices, a dialog box will come up asking you to confirm your choice. And once you've confirmed your choice, you will be then switched to that mode. So when you take a capture, which I'm going to do right now, you are able to, we're able to take a picture of this image. And I've set this to region. I'm going to set my crosshairs up and pull them, click on the mouse and pull down so I get this whole area of the new sprout. When I let go of my mouse, the image will be taken and we will, it will move to the editor, will be switched immediately to the editor. And here we are in the Snagit editor. I want to go back to my um, capture screen because I don't want to edit this right now. So I can close the, the editor and my picture will still be there later when I want to come back to it. You have your profile settings and these three areas are quick ways for you to change your the profile setting for your capture. So this would mean that I took a capture of a region as you saw, but I could have taken a picture of the whole entire window or I could have taken a picture of a scrolling window like a website that scrolls longer than one page. And I'd like for you to play with these settings when you do your captures. You can also um, change your output settings. This means that when you take a screenshot with Snagit, it can send it directly to a file or directly to your email or directly to Word. I have it to preview in an editor because I like to look at my my screenshots after I've taken them and see if I've, I want to crop or resize something. This last area is the effects area and this you can see you can change color and resolution. Now this is all in relationship to image capture. When we chose image capture these profile settings changed. When we move up here to profiles, you can see all in one. When you hit all in one, it changes this a little bit. And when I hit copy text to clipboard, this changes it as well. At the top of the profiles window, there are some quick buttons that you can use to save your profiles, to look at your profiles in a different mode, thumbnail or list, or change your file setup and your options related to your profiles. So there's a lot of versatility in relationship to your profiles. The next thing on this screen is the quick launch and I really like this because it takes me immediately to the edit screen where I could play with my shot or I could go into my search pane and I could go to the last two weeks and I could pull up my pictures from the last two weeks and edit those as well. I want to go back to my capture screen and show you that you can also move to your editor by hitting Organize Images. As you remember, the library is in the edit screen and this is where you would organize all your pictures. I'm going to close this as well and I come back to the capture screen. 
Underneath related tasks are some things that you can do that will help you organize your workflow and snag it. And I encourage you to play with these as you take your captures.